25 laps for the High Plains Late Model Series here tonight at Phillips County Raceway. Hope you're enjoying watching on IMCA.TV. For your race fans sticking around, final feature here tonight in beautiful Holyoke, Colorado. We'll turn them loose at a corner number four. Now Frona Smith in the 112. Here comes Rob Maya. Maya to the inside looking for that race lead. Bobble the nose, gathers it back up. He'll go back to work out of corner number four. Rob Maya takes the race lead down into corners one and two. Smith back to second. There's Dakota Barry. Barry now looking for that second spot. Barry tucks behind the 112 of Smith. Arm pull center goes side by side. They'll work down into corners three and four. Dakota Barry. All but spun that car out, saved it out of corner number four. Rob may have fast in the heat race earlier here tonight. Continuing the same here as caution flag is out as Sean Younger around on the front straightaway. Right front down on Sean Younger's machine. Something broke on the right. Something broke on the rear end of Sean Younger's ride as well. And about ready to fire off the late models once again. The High Plains late models. Rob Maya out front will lead us back out of corner number four to the green flag. The way up high as Cody Canwine gets it out of the guardrail. We'll stay green as he settles back in mid-pack. Maya, caution flag is out. Long way to go to settle this one for the High Plains late mile models. Rob Maya will lead us back out of corner number four, back underway. Maya with the lead, here's Dakota Barry. Barry is clear for that second spot. Tyler Smith working the high side. Off the top shelf of the racetrack goes the 112. Smith back onto the racetrack. Maya continues to lead Dakota Barry second. Scott Simple now to the third spot. Track starting to lay down rubber here early on for the high plains. Gonna be a one-way track here. After a couple more laps, Rob Maya continues to lead Dakota Barry second point simple. Down the top three. late models. Rob May catching the tail end of the last lap. Tyler Smith just in front of our race leader, Rob May. May to the inside. Looking to get by as they gaggle the cars up out of corner number four. Trouble for the 88 of Tim Keeper. He'll pull down the midfield. Dakota Barry has caught our race leader, Rob Maya. Barry on the back bumpers. They work down into corners. One and two to black 37. Trying to fight off the charging. Dakota Barry down the back straightaway goes Rob Maya. Dakota Barry now can't get by the 10 car. Can't want to go to the inside. First is Maya, second is Dakota Barry, third will be Scott Simple. Maya the 
the class of the field here tonight. Continues the lead in that block 37. He works through corners three and four. Looking to put Albert Sack one lap down, down the front straightaway. Into the outside wall, Frank Denning. Hard to the outside wall was a 98 to of Frank Denning. Caution flag is out. That was a hard hit from Frank Denning. I see him moving around in the 98 car. Heavy damage, heavy contact. Rob May at the point, Dakota Berry. Scott Simple third. Round out the top three. We'll restart lap number 13 for the High Plains Elite Models here tonight. The lights are out down the back straightaway, trying to take us to the checkered flag as a 37 of Rob Maya. We'll work out a corner number four, back to the green flag, back underway for your late models. Battle for the fourth spot, the white 65, a Greg Sharp on the outside, a Canwine. Canwine will overtake that spot out of corner number four. Maya continues to lead Dakota Berry second. Simple still third. Single file now front to back. Tyler Smith, the only car in the field starting to pass some cars. Goes by Brandon Lewis. In the 44. Single file now front to back. As the late models continue to run their feature here at Phillips County Raceway. Still single file, everybody locked into the same groove of the racetrack. Rob Mayo, about a half a second quicker than the rest of the field as he continues to lead. Almost a full straightaway advantage now. For May as he works down into corners three and four. Here comes your race leader down the front straightaway. He'll sell it off into corners one and two, the black 37. Nice and smooth out front is May. Back to Dakota Perry, about a full straightaway back to the white 75 of Dakota Perry. Here's your race leader out of corner four. He'll get the five laps to go single this time by. Rob May looks to put power. Donnelly one lap down. He'll go by the outside. Put the 44 D one lap down. Here's your second place car, Dakota Perry. No battles on the racetrack. Single file now front to back as Maya continues to click off laps. Rob Maya, the only car under a 19 second lap here in the high place late models. He is absolutely flying as he works out at corner number four. Albert Sachs slows down the front straightaway. Caution flag is out. Be a green white checker to the finish. Rob Maya trying to take us there out of corner number four, back underway for the high plains late models.
Out of corner number four, this time by the white flag will fly one more time around for Rob Mayer. Barry in pursuit of that second spot will lead us down the back straight for the final time is your race leader Rob Mayer, the driver of the 37 ride. We'll set us up for the final set of corners here tonight at Phillips County Raceway. Rob Mayo will exit corner number four to the checkered flag. <laughs>